Luke is back with us. And Luke, it feels so much better outside now than it did a little earlier today. Yeah, we still have a little bit of humidity around here, but temperatures are at least getting into the 70s, which is really comfortable for your Saturday night plan. So if you're going out, it's going to be nice. I still think you need the shorts and a t-shirt at least. But once we get to Sunday, that's when the afternoon heat really kicks in. If you're out in the morning, it'll be warm mid 70s, but the afternoon is where the excessive heat warning will be into effect. That's from 1 to 8 p.m. tomorrow. All the magenta shaded counties, the orange shaded counties that are surrounding the magenta, that's a heat advisory where we feel like the heat index could get up near 105. But if you're in the magenta, again, the excessive heat warning, that's where we feel like the heat index could get all the way up to near 110 degrees. Let's go through it here on Storm Predictor. We felt the humid air usher in today, but this system down here, that's where we expect more warm or hot would be a better adjective and humid air to start filtering in. So there's through Sunday at 7 p.m. That warm front lifts north of our area. That's where the heat really spills in here along with a little bit of humidity. And then Monday, not a whole lot changes, but this system will shift east. We'll have lots of sunshine throughout the day. Humidity might not be as bad on Monday. We're still going to have the heat, though. So Monday is going to be a severe weather day again. But that cold front moves through. Depending on the timing of that cold front, we should see cooler temperatures for us on Tuesday. And that doesn't mean much relief, more like 90s. And then the secondary cold front will spill in on Tuesday, which will bring us a little bit more relief. So there it is, 100 on Monday. And then that cold front comes through, drops us down to 91. Then off the Gulf of Alaska, there's another system that's going to get here. But we're going to have to wait till Thursday and into Friday for much cooler weather, which will be the real relief. Outside right now, you can see the, the lights kind of bright and reflective right now from the humidity. 79 degrees, the dew point very high, 75 with a southeast wind at 11 miles per hour. Temperatures are now in the 70s for most areas. Lincoln and Beatrice are sitting in the 80s along with Norfolk. 74 to start your morning tomorrow. So again, that's kind of warm for a starting temperature through the middle and end of August. We'll have mostly sunny skies throughout the day. Here's your hour by hour forecast for tomorrow. Notice the severe weather impacts going to be from 2 to around 6, 7 o'clock where temperatures will be near the triple digits. The heat index could be up near 110 degrees. That's during peak heating, maybe around 3 or 4 o'clock. Notice the temperatures. Lincoln, Beatrice, 103. This is crazy hot. Monday, not much better. The humidity will be a little bit less but still talking about a peak heat index that could be up near 110 degrees. So expect the hot weather if you're going to the air show tomorrow, 99. That's going to be hot. Monday, not much better, 100 degrees, flirting with the triple digits. Again, the first cold front comes through, drops us down to 91 on Tuesday. Could be a slight chance for shower or storm Monday night. It's pretty low. It should stay north. The front that's in the Gulf of Alaska, that's coming through Wednesday night and into Thursday. Then we get some real relief, especially by Friday, where the temperatures drop down to 81. So the Gulf of Alaska, you know, that's hundreds, thousands of miles away, but that's the relief that's going to be here eventually. We just got to wait till really around this time next week. So Devon, we got some time here. We're going to settle into this heat. And what I'm hearing is people need to go on and get those ice trays filled up so they can stay hydrated. That's the big thing. Yes, that'll help. Stay hydrated. All right.